God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus is Lord. Spirit reconciled with God, the Maker. He's coming soon. All those people coming. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just read this right here, uh, John 4, 23-24. But the hour comes, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks us to worship Him. God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him, worship him in spirit and truth. The reason I wanted to share this, there's a lot of deception, a lot of idolatry right now. People are lost. People are blind. And uh, that's uh, against God and abomination. We need to worship God, the maker, the creator, in truth and spirit. Are you guys done with the Lord Jesus Christ? God bless you. You guys know Jesus? All right, praise the Lord. God bless you know Jesus? Yeah. All right. God bless you, brother. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Lord, King of kings, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not be conformed to the things of this world, to the patterns of this world. That be transformed by the renewing of our minds. That, may, that we may be able to prove what is the good, acceptable, perfect will of God. How can we know what is the good, perfect, acceptable will of God? What the Bible tells us to seek God and His righteousness first, and everything else will be added on to us, ladies and gentlemen. Let's repent and believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ. For Jesus is Lord of Lords, King of Kings, and He is coming very soon. He doesn't wish none to perish, but for all to come to repentance, to the true knowledge of His word, of His truth, ladies and gentlemen. How you ladies doing? God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, for God so loved the world. God so loved the world. That means you and I, ladies and gentlemen. Let's not love the things of the world. The idolatry that we see around us. That everybody comes from other countries to see to this country. To this country. Love, love not the world or the things of the world, for whoever loves the world, the love of the Father, it's not in him. Ladies and gentlemen, be reconciled with God, the Creator, the Maker of the heavens and the earth today. For whoever should call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ shall be saved. The Word says that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised up from the dead on the third day, you should be saved. See, but we have to repent. Because uh, many people don't hear that in the in the churches these days. They don't hear repentance because a lot of these buildings they are they're full of dead man bones. But we have to be rooted on the word of God. Can I get you a Bible check? Thank you. God bless you. All right, see God, Jesus Christ. All right, have a good day. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have to see God. We have to not love the world, be separated from the world. And not be friends of the world. Uh, James chapter 4, verse 4 down. You adulteresses, you adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God. Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. You think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit that dwells in us lusts to envy, but he gives more grace. 
Wherefore he says, God resists the proud. God resists the proud. I will repeat that. But gives grace to the humble. Submit yourself therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your heart. You double-minded, be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning. And your joy to heaven is heaviness. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil of another brethren. He that speaks evil of his brother and judges his brother speaks evil of the law and judges the law. But if you judge the law, you are not a door of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who are you to judge another? Go to now. You that say today, tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a paper that appears for a little time and then vanishes away, ladies and gentlemen. Just like the word says, you're not going to be here forever. Your life's here like a paper. Then it vanishes away. So we ought to humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God. Are you humbling yourself today? Are you being thankful and grateful for God giving you another day? Another opportunity to come to the true knowledge of His Word. Seek God today in His righteousness, ladies and gentlemen. See, I'm John chapter 3, verse 3. Five, six. Jesus answered and said to him, Very barely I say to you, as said a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus says to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Barely, barely I say to you, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, we, you need the Spirit of God. You need to be born again, be born of water and spirit. For it's appointed unto man to die after this is judgment. For we all fall short of the glory of God. We need Jesus. We need to repent of our sins. For the wages of sin, the Bible says, that is dead. But there is a gift. There is a gift. Are you seeking God? Are you seeking for the way out? Are you seeking for the true meaning of life? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus our Lord. Christ Jesus our Lord. That whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave. His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. He that believes in Him is not condemned, but he that believes not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. See, God did not send His Son, Jesus Christ, into the world 
to condemn the world. He didn't send Jesus to condemn the world. It says, For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes in him is not condemned, but he that... All right, uh, I'm going to make this quick video right here. I'm in front of uh, the White House. And uh, I'm just going to do a quick prayer here. There's a lot of Jehovah Witnesses. They're lost. I was uh, reaching out to them, and they said uh, that John 1-1, that said uh, that the Word was a God, a God. When that's that's totally false, they're uh, in a false uh, Bible. They're uh, in a, a, a Bible of uh, Satan. Uh, there's some over there, and... Uh, there's some other ones around here, but uh, people need to come in. The body of Christ need to come out here on the streets because the devil is out here like our own lion looking for whom he may devour. He's using these Jehovah Witnesses, these Jehovah Witnesses to destroy and mislead many into the furnace of hell. So, oh, Heavenly Father, I just come before you right now, Father God, and uh, I just uh, humble myself. And I uh, surrender myself completely, Father God, to you, Father God. Thank you for, for leading me here, Father God, without me just uh, knowing where I was coming, Father God. You directed my paths, and I'm here, Father God, and I'm just here to, to serve you and give you glory and praise and honor, Father God. Thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to come here and uh, to spread your uh, your word, your love, Father God. Uh, without knowing, without being prepared, Father God, uh, not knowing, but um, I'm, I rejoice. But I just uh, lift up uh, this nation, Father God, that has gone astray. I lift this nation to your presence, Father God. I just ask, Father God, that you uh, do miracles in this nation, Father God. That uh, you will show wonder, wonders in, in, in your body, Father God. That you will work through your body in a mighty way, Father God. That those that are your servants, your vessels, Father God, that they will not be ashamed and do not be idle in this world, Father God, but be doers of your word and, and come out and walk as you walk, Father God. Be an example to those that are uh, in the dark, those that are lost, those that are broken, those that are hurting, Father God. For you don't wish not to perish, Father God, but for all to come to the true knowledge, Father God. Help the body of Christ this moment, Father God, so this nation could come and wake up and come to be the, the nation that we once were, a nation under God. A nation under your mighty power, under your mighty hand, Father God. Thank you, Father God. I lift up uh, the leaders of this nation, the president, the vice president, and the rest of the leaders, Father God. I lift them up, Father God. I just ask that uh, you will cleanse their minds, their hearts, Father God, and that you will do uh, miracles, do good works to them, Father God, that uh, they will be uh, servants of your kingdom, Father God, of you alone, Father God, not of the government, not of the world, and not of man, but be uh, be servants of you, Father God, to serve the people of not just the nation of America, but of the world. Thank you, Father God. We give you praise and glory. And I also lift up the body of Christ that's hurting, going to trials, going to uh, the just uh, persecution right now, Father God. I lift them up to your presence, Father God. I just ask that you hold them tight in your arms. Just embrace them, Father God, and pour your love, your peace upon them, Father God. Give them strength, encouragement to keep on pressing forward. For you says, great is the reward to those that endure to the end. Thank you, Father God. Help us to endure this battle, Father God. This battle, this battle that belongs to you, Father God. Not to us, but to you, Father God. With your vessels, with your servants, with your children. And you are with us. And if you're with us, who could be against us? We serve you, Father God. And you are faithful that you said, I will never abandon you or forsake you. Thank you, precious, mighty Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.